we are leaving Disneyland today and I wanted to just film what I picked up on the San Francisco down to Disneyland portion of the trip before I sort of pack everything away I thought it would be good to do it here so I actually didn't buy a lot in San Francisco I bought nothing that I can remember I don't think I bought anything because I tried to get all the stuff out here the only thing I have from San Francisco for myself is a souvenir hat that we got from my mates for from Hanson so I have that and it looks too bad <laughs> We actually got one each, Kevin and myself, but we're giving one to Christy because that's her favourite musical. Yeah, I think I've gathered everything up. Okay, so on the way down the coast at Monterey, I'm, I'll have to be careful this, I've got tea in it. There's a beautiful jellyfish mug. I, I know I don't need any more coffee mugs, and I've actually ended up with another two from this trip, plus this one, but I just loved it. I've been really enjoying uh, the jellyfish exhibits both at the Monterey um, Aquarium and back in, uh, in Australia at the at SeaWorld there and it's my colour <laughs> so I kind of had to get it because I just loved it so I thought oh, no, I love it I'm going to get it and I've been using it here so it's been nice to have pretty sure that was from Hearst Castle a bit random from Hearst Castle no it wasn't it was that was in um picked this up at Sausalito so I did get something in San Francisco this is from Sausalito in the Christmas shop and it's actually a little I can't see little bumps and little lights on it so I've got one of them for myself and one for my mum there's a little battery goes in the back so I did get that from Sausalito so in Karma by the Sea we stumbled across the um, Thomas Kincaid art gallery and ended up buying this which has got a print in it which is that print that you see on the front and it's also got a calendar with all those I wasn't going to get a calendar this year but I just love his artwork and being all Disney kind of just I had to get it <laughs> so that, and I love how I look through it and it's really nice and then you've got the print there which will probably possibly frame or put up somewhere nice so I'm really happy to get that and they also have jigsaws there which I, I picked up three of his jigsaws last year I hope I haven't got the same ones, but I really don't know anymore. So I picked up three from there. So I've got that one. And Kevin kind of laughed because these are big jigsaw pieces and it's only 300. But I got these last year. I wasn't sure whether they were for Athena or for myself, but I did one first and I loved it. Just a nice, because they're quite big, it's not too challenging <laughs> and you can knock them out fairly quickly. But I, it was still, still slightly challenging. But I like that you could kind of do it in a few days, like just bits and pieces over a few days. And I didn't have to leave it set up for a long time. So I really did enjoy doing them. And I had two from last year, so I picked up another few. I could even have four repeats, I don't know. If I have, I'll give Athena. Athena them. But I've got the three of them. And that's pretty much all I picked up on the drive down. Obviously we weren't doing a lot of shopping, but we checked out gift shops. But I'm just so selective with what I get and you'll, you'll notice most of the things we've got are more practical things rather than decorative items and things like that. They're more kind of can, I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you what I've got, but I think I've done pretty well. Okay, so Disneyland, of course. Doing Disney, I had to get some new ears, which you've probably already seen in the vlogs. So of course I had to have them. Um, I think I wasn't sure what this theme for this one is, but I think it's supposed to be like the New Orleans Mardi Gras kind of thing. I only saw them for sale in the one shop and it was actually like the Pirates shop. But I, then I think more about it because right in New Orleans Square as well. And I think that's kind of the theme they were going for. All right, I'll just show you what I've got. No particular order. First, actually, I'm going to show what Kevin got. He got a t-shirt, which you will have seen because he wore it an awful lot um, from Target. And then he got this badge for, um, Doug the dog from up and I'll, I'll just tell you what it says it's got different things you can move the little thing around here and it's got I have just met you and I love you I have been a very good I've been very good today and then of course squirrel 
So he wants, and he's looking for a badge, like a particular, he just wanted to get a special badge for this trip. He usually gets one each trip. And he'd been looking and looking, and he only just saw that one yesterday. So I got, I wasn't sure about this, but I decided I was going to get it because I thought I'm going to regret it if I don't. The little um, up house with the balloons and it says adventure on it. And I think it's kind of a long necklace. So, again, I only got that yesterday. Should we come across a really good shop? on picks up here and I had a lot of up stuff you see. I'll show you the other thing we got that's up related. It's bubble wrap so you have to kind of have a look through. But we got this beautiful drawing. I hope you can see it okay. This kind of thought it represented Kevin and myself. I've got a book. <laughs> the only thing problem is Kevin has a book rather than his phone. <laughs> but we really thought that was really cute. Um, yeah, and the funny when we went to buy it, all the staff were coming on how lovely it was and how good it was. And it turns out the artist that's in the shop working had only just drawn this like that morning. Like she literally pretty much just finished it. They put it out and we bought it. So that was pretty cool as well that it was uh, <laughs> so brand new and they were, they were all loving it. So she mustn't have drawn something quite like that before. Okay, I'll show you my other print that I got because I always try and pick up a nice print. It must have been a latter thing. We try and pick up a nice print if we can. And there's always the same artist. So this is Larry Dotson. We've got a couple of other, other prints. And this one, of course, we're here for Christmas. So we've got the Christmas one. And I have to get it framed. And these all go, we've been putting these now downstairs bathroom. <laughs> Become like the Disney room. So that's where that will go as well. And Kevin said, well, I'll put up all you round. And I said, yeah, I will because we do a lot of our Disney trips at Christmas too so that is quite meaningful. I got just a few clothes. I didn't buy too much. I got a few tops. I got this one. I had to get this. My happy place. And grey is my favourite colour so I got that one. And then I got this one. This really isn't my colour, I don't think, but I just it's a nice singlet top and I just like to have nice Disney singlet tops. And this is probably more like around the house or an exercise top would be handy for. But yeah, I just loved it too. All the Disney stuff on it. And there's not a lot in the bigger sizes, so you kind of have to just get what you can. And this one I really like. I actually wanted one that Athena chose, like a little two, but I'm actually happy with my choice. So this one. 99 happy haunts, 999 happy haunts. If you've been on the um, Haunted Mansion ride, you will understand the reference. That's what it says, there's 999 happy haunts, but there's always room for one more. <laughs> and this is really nice. Lovely material, and I really like the style on it. So again, I'm really happy I got this. It's probably a fraction large. I think I'm quite in between sizes, which is a bit frustrating, but anyway. And from, we went down to the outlet mall the other day as well, and I got this nighty. I really don't need another nighty, but this was $10, so. That's big. Okay, nighty. And even if that lasts me to next year or something, that's fine, because it was $10 and it was a Disney nighty, so kind of had to get it. <laughs> I find the quality of this stuff is very good. Okay, only a few more things from Disney. As I said, I didn't really buy much. A popcorn <laughs> thing. This was actually kind of... Well, I got it for the parade. I don't think you can see a Disney parade without popcorn. And where was I? I got interrupted by housekeeping. I wanted to know when we were leaving. So, yeah, so I got this. As I said, I thought usually you can do the refills and they have a cheaper price for refilling this. At Disney World, they do anyway. They didn't do that here. And yesterday when we went to get a refill... They actually won't refill the container for some bizarre reason. They have to give you another popcorn in a bar, a bar bucket, in a cardboard container, and then you can pour it in yourself. So I was, so I probably wouldn't have bought it if I'd known. But um, anyway, I think we'll take it home because it is, it is a cute one with the Christmas one, and who knows? I don't know. It was probably a mistaken purchase, but anyway. And my very last thing, I think, I don't think I've got anything more. If I do, I'll um, 
either film some more or just put some pictures up because um, we are actually going to the Walt Disney today to do our last sort of shop there mainly for Christmas presents and for the kids but who knows I might find something there that I like I didn't the other day but you never know today because <laughs> I do always change and that was a few days ago in my last purchase that I got was this I saw him on the first day I think no the day I went to Toontown yeah we did our first day there at the park and I loved him then took a photo of him thought no I'm not gonna buy him he's so cute and he's so soft he's so soft and then I said I kept thinking about him and I said to Kevin I thought I think I'd like to get him we went to the shop and thought no I'm being silly I'm being silly I'm nearly 50 I'm buying a stuffed animal adorable as he is and Kevin sort of said why don't you get him I said and I said no and I walked away and then I went back and thought I'm gonna get him because I love him and I know I'd regret not getting him <laughs> He's so cute. I think part, I mean, he's lovely. He's got the cutest little face. He's very soft. But I think part of the appeal is the colour. Because I do love him. Like, I think he was pink or yellow or anything. Like, I wouldn't be interested. But, so I know part of the appeal is his colour. I do love Sully, though. In this one. He's so cute. So I had to get him. <laughs> Look at that little face. <laughs> so adorable. So anyway, yes. Um... That is all. Most of the stuff we picked up has been for the kids. And even that's not been a lot. It's been mainly clothes. This is very practical sort of things we've been buying, I think. But, um, yeah, I'm happy. I might get some jewellery or something today. I don't know. I don't think I will. I don't know if I'll get anything today, but if I do, I will share it. But anyway, that's what we've collected so far from here for myself. But um, I haven't finished shopping for them yet, so I thought, well, I'll just do mine. And then mine is all done. <laughs> okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.